All right. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I'm going to make you a short video uh, of the kind of the correct path to go through uh, to help you help you out a little bit so you don't get frustrated and stop playing. Uh, I try to get so many people to play this game because um, it's great. It's my favorite game. I would say the, the Soul series, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Um, the game does not allows you to go many different ways right off the bat. You know, like you could go in the graveyard and head that way, but obviously you saw the skeletons are kind of, they're going to kick your butt right off the bat. Um, so I would highly, highly recommend going this way. This is the game, the way the game kind of expects you to go. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get the first bonfire, uh, beat the first boss, and then get the shortcut to the first bonfire so you don't have to, if you die, you don't have to keep on running through this area over and over. Um, so, all right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is the, actually the third time I've made it. Uh, I realized I was talking way too quiet. So, uh, I'll try to be a little bit louder this time and let's do it. Um, I'm gonna take things a little bit faster than probably you will. Uh, and I know, I know where all the enemies are. Um, I, I beat this game over ten times, so uh, this area, especially, is pretty, pretty easy uh, to me. But basically, with these types of enemies, you're going to want to uh, until you get more comfortable with the game and comfortable with what all of these enemies do, what their attack patterns are. You're going to want to blow okay, block their attacks, um, and then re once they rebound off your shield, you attack them. Uh, unfortunately, the shield you start off with as a pyromancer, um, it, en enemies do not rebound. Off of it. They'll swing. You'll block the attack, but they won't bounce off the shield. Uh, so you're gonna have to get a better shield, which I'll show you where it is. It's right. It's yeah, very close to where I am right now. Um, so I'll just play a little bit. See if you didn't, I'll just show you. Oh. I'll show you what I'm talking about. He does not bounce off my shield. He just swings through it. So you can still block it and then attack, but it depends on what attack animations they're doing, if you'll be able to hit them first right after they, uh, they hit your shield. So, let's see here. I'm just not letting them attack at all. But, yeah, I died right there. That was the second video. Alright. Block. Oh yeah, the dragon, sorry, come. So you won't see that if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, just hold your shield up. Oh man, I'm... It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Let's see here. I'm just gonna take care of this guy first, because he can be quite a pain. If you haven't been here and you haven't seen this part yet, uh, definitely two-hand these guys. That, as you saw, I hit him with uh, the back two-handed, and if I hit him with one-handed, it'll just bounce off the shield. But if I hit him with two-handed, I'll actually, man, knock his shield aside, and then you can hit him again. Or you kick him. You kick a shield aside, but uh, that's a little bit harder. little trap right here, this guy. This is the first merchant. Uh, don't kill him. Obviously, he, he'll sell you stuff. And he's hilarious, so you'll like him a lot. Um, Alright, first shield is right in this room over here. It's, uh, it's better than your cracked wooden shield, so i put that. Now, enemies will actually bounce off your shield, uh, depending on the enemy, and depending on the attack. Again, there's a lot of ifs and buts in this game. So, sleep bonfire, all the enemies come back. Kill these guys again. 
ignore them. I don't care about them. Be really careful in this room if you haven't found out already. Uh, Fire bombs those really help you with the boss, um, as well as your fireballs. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's see if I can take these guys out real fast. All right. Again, <laughs> don't try to play it like I'm playing it at first. Not to belittle you, but this game is will punish you for being uh, being careless and not being patient. Um, I've just played this so much that I kind of know where everything is. I know what all the enemies do. Um, talk myself up a little bit here, but. Bounce off my shield. Uh, this guy, this Black Knight, I would not take him on right off the bat. He's actually, in a way, harder than the first boss. Uh, you can get a sneak attack on him by walking at him like this. Lock on. Ah, shit. I ran forward. I'm just gonna kill him my way, but don't try this. I, just, I would just actually just ignore him right now. This could take a second. I played this so much that I know all the swing, all the speeds of all their swings. So parrying and reposting is very powerful in this game, as you can see. Um, this fight would take me much longer if I just tried to fight it legitly, uh, in a legit way. Uh, that might be the last one. Yep. Alright. Hey, I got a Black Knight shield. I'm not going to use it though. It's a little bit heavy for my character right now and I don't want to lose my fast roll. Yeah, that roll is really nice. So, let me run up here. Watch out for this flaming barrel. Ignore that door. Uh, you won't be able to open it anyway if you don't have the master key, which was a starting gift, which I highly recommend taking all the time. All the other starting gifts are pretty, pretty crappy. But uh, there's a crystal lizard in here, in this barrel, this one right here. Uh, if you kill him, he gives you materials that you use to upgrade your weapons and armor. Uh, so, but he'll try to run away, he doesn't attack or anything, and if you let him run away, he'll disappear and you'll have to wait until you die and respawn and try to get him again. And he only spawns once. It's gonna be really hard to hit him with the, this weapon because I don't have an attack that goes straight down. So I just gotta follow him. And I got him. Alright, so I got some Twinkling Titanite and a Titanite Chunk. Which, yeah, again, probably mean nothing to you, but uh, you use them to upgrade weapons and armor uh, a little bit later in the game. So... This is the boss. This is where he comes. He's going to jump off that tower and you're going to fight him on this bridge. But you got some enemies up there who fire arrows at you if you don't take them out early. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick to get some nice damage on the boss like you did the Asylum Demon. Um, kill these guys. guy with me. Alright, here we go. And there he is. Now run away. Right when you see him, run away. Run all the way back up here. Climb the ladder. He's going to be coming after you, as you'll see. There he is. 
don't take your time looking at him because he'll actually jump up here with you. Fall off. Oh, I missed. I missed the attack. That, that sucks. But if you can get that off, you can hit him like you do the assignment. Now, I probably wouldn't even bother with fireballs. Uh, I just run up and I hit him, you know, constantly like this. It's back up. He swings. And then I hit him. Uh, he's gonna jump. Back up a little bit. And then I hit him. But, yeah, it's gonna be... Yeah, obviously, it's, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than this. So, you can try to hit him with some fireballs. They do pretty good damage. My, uh, for some reason, my health bar for bosses is messed up, so I can't actually tell how much health he has. Um, you can actually fall off this bridge in these areas right there to the left, so you gotta be careful about that. I'm just gonna use up all my fireballs. It, you know, again, no shame if it takes you, you know, however many tries. Uh, this game is all about patience, observation. Um, you, know, you have to learn what the enemies do, how they attack, their, their, what their AI pretty much does, and then you exploit, you know, what you have learned. Um, this character down here, Solaire, who is probably one of the best characters in the game. Uh, how few of them are there are. You talk to him. Uh, I'm going to skip through his dialogue. Uh, s keep talking to oh. him. Say yes both times. And he will give you an item called the White Sign Soapstone that allows you to play with other players. Uh, summon them into your game and uh, have them summon you into their game. Now this area, you're going to want to run across this bridge. Uh, don't do that. Or you'll see why in just a second. Run to where about where I go, and then run straight back. So right about to this halfway through this dark area, and then run back. Cause oh, still got hit. Got back up a little bit. Yeah, that uh, that'll surprise the the crap out of you the first time. So now you can run. Uh, make sure you're running about my speed, so you don't want to wear heavy armor or anything or else he'll still fry you again. Uh, and then make a right down this staircase. Don't try to go further than that. Or else he'll just keep frying you and you'll die. So here you go, this is the first bonfire, again. Uh, that's the first you know, area. So now you kick this ladder down, and now you can just climb up that ladder. And that's a shortcut back to the, here, so you don't have to run through that entire area over again. Hopefully that uh, helps you out a little bit. Yeah. Definitely. Mm, excuse me. Uh, stick with the game. It's really great. It's my favorite game. Uh, very rewarding. Uh, look on the wiki. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy Dark Souls. It's worth it. Do it. Do it forever. Alright. That's all I got. Maybe I'll make some more if you want. Enjoy.